Hello and welcome to the TES Secondary Maths Resource of the Week number 11 with me Craig Barton. Now it's trigonometry this week and I tend to find there's two levels of understanding that students need to get to with trigonometry. And the first is just being able to simply apply Sokotoa to bog standard right angle triangles and Pythagoras as well of course. And once they master that, the next level up, and I find it is quite a jump for a lot of students, is to be able to answer those in context questions where they're told a little story and then it's down to them to interpret the story, draw the right angle triangle, and then use the correct trigonometric ratio to solve the problem. And I do tend to find that students really, really struggle with this. And for years, I've been looking for inspiration for questions. And it's the usual, usual, how high is our ladder? How high is the top of this mountain? What angle are you looking up at to see a certain picture or whatever? And it's a little bit on the dull side. And I tend to find the students don't entirely buy into it. But then I stumbled upon this resource and it's absolutely brilliant. Pirate Trigonometry and then in capital letters, Now With Solutions. And it's been kindly uploaded by Matthew Kennedy. And it's absolutely brilliant. So it's um, there's a couple of PDFs here, one with answers and one without. And these Google Docs links uh, take you to somewhere where you can download a PowerPoint um, of the questions if you want. And they look like this. It's it's a lovely story of, of a couple of, well, a band of pirates off to search for treasure. But at every point, they reach a problem which only uh, trig trigonometry or Pythagoras can solve. And if I just flip you through uh, to where it looks, uh, how it looks. This is the example of the first question. So uh, their boat needs a new sail before they can set out. Um, it's shaped like a right angle triangle, isosceles triangle, sorry. The diagonal's 12 meters. And then here's a little twist here. The canvas costs uh, two doubloons per square meter. How much do they need to pay for, for the sail? And that's all the information the students get. And it's up to them to interpret it, construct the yeah, correct triangle, do the working out, and then figure out how much it costs. Now, there's loads of these questions. I think about maybe 10 in total, something like that. And they cover all different areas of trig and Pythagoras, uh, bringing in classics such as bearings and a bit of 3D as well. And I've done these with my year 11s. And what I found worked really well was to set it up almost as a kind of a race game where every, uh, get the kids into groups of two or four and every kid, every group got this first card first and they had to try and figure it out and solve it. And then when they got it, they brought it up to the front to see me. I quickly checked the solution and um, asked them a couple of quick questions if there was anything I wasn't entirely sure about on the solution. And if I was happy, I then gave them uh, number two for them to get on with. So I'll just flick through and show you number two. So number two, here we go. My kids hate bearings. So this was uh, this went down a storm of them, as you can, can, as you can imagine. They had to try and figure this one out. Um, how far in the direction does he need to go and they had to set up a, a triangle and then if they figured that one out then they got number three and so on and it was dead good for me as well because the full solutions were here so there's the uh, there's a solution to the bearing question that we've just been talking about and i'm pleased to say that i've had a quick check through these solutions and they're all absolutely spot on as well so it was very very quick for me to do it um, and the questions just keep going like this. Some absolutely lovely ones. Here's one with uh, the top of a mountain. What angle uh, do you need to look at? I'll show you my favorite one. Uh, this one here, where they enter, I mean, this just shows my level of immaturity. It's where they enter a booby trapped cave and they've got to figure out what angle they need to fire at to knock off this, this safety alarm uh, thing. But there's a nice little twist um, on it here because if he's led on the floor at no meters, it's going to be quite tricky to fire his gun. So the students have to think of a more realistic interpretation of it and add a meter on and how that affects the angle and so on. And as you go through them, oh, this is a good one as well. You get a bit of a, the kids really like this one about whether you can fit five of these pirates on a bridge and whether it'll uh, go down too, f uh, too close to the alligated, alligator infested river, sorry. Really, really nice questions. And as you go through, they get harder and harder. Sometimes the Pythagoras, sometimes the trig. And crucially, they don't tell the students which ones are which, so they need to interpret that. And you just get some absolutely lovely questions. And then towards the end, you get a little bit of 3D as well. So you, you're boxing off absolutely everything. And as I say, I found doing it as a race game really can engage the students a little bit, added a, a degree of competition to it. And it boxed off all my major revision that I needed to do on Sokotoa and Pythagoras with my year 11s. And it set us up for a bit more of a, a tricky look at the, the more complicated three-dimensional work and angles of planes and all that kind of stuff. But it's an absolutely delightful resource. Your kids will really, really like it. They'll find it hard because drawing diagrams from information is a very, very tricky skill. 
but if they're going to be engaged in that kind of activity in any way i think it's going to be through this resource so an absolutely phenomenal resource with full solutions as well so if you use that uh, please uh, share in the comments below but perhaps even just to say thank you to matthew kennedy for uploading it or if you've got any other ideas for, for how it might be used and i will be back with a fresh resource of the week next week take care and bye for now